Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today with more Oshinoko, you guys. Oh my god, last time was so intense. And we had a lot going on last time, honestly, because we wrapped up some of the other stuff we've been dealing with and we introduced a couple of new things I think that are kind of interesting. The biggest of which, obviously, coming out of it was um, Aqua's very, very intense, like, uh, trauma from everything as, I mean, you absolutely can understand where he's coming from. Um, so it does make sense. It was just, it, it did and didn't take me aback a little bit because like, of course he'd have trauma, but the way that it manifested and everything in the time in which it manifested, I was just really surprised to learn that like this is a, I was and wasn't surprised to learn that this is like an ongoing thing. Because, like I said, I mean, on the one hand, it's like, oh, my God, of course you would have something like that. Um, but anyway, before I get into my epic rant, I do just want to say if you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so very much. And as always, I am sending you up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not... Still, thank you for joining me today. I am glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in that description down below. And if you're joining me on the YouTubes, I really hope you'll hit like. Also, subscribe for me. That does help me and my channel a whole lot. So thank you in advance for that. Um, yeah, guys. So, yeah, obviously, like, the biggest thing that we did... Um, I think out of that whole episode was sort of introduced this idea that Aqua has some very, very understandable trauma and anxiety and panic attacks because of um, his mother's death and having seen it, witnessed it at a young age, but given his situation, is able to comprehend and vividly remember every single second of it. So it's literally like the worst of all worlds because... Obviously, it's horrible to have that happen when you're a kid anyway, but like under regular circumstances, like non-reincarnation circumstances, you might not even remember that. And in his case, he does. So the whole thing is just, oh, it's just, it's so awful, so heartbreaking, and I feel so bad for him. Of course, we had Akane come in and really like really get in there I gotta say with the you know I mean we know that she's trying to like be the best like girlfriend she can be at least for show but even just as a somebody who's there for him right now really really stepped up and was like put it together about the the mom thing and everything and about I and um and it's just acting accordingly um, I did have you guys in the comments saying, like, Kana, Kana will get there. Like, Kana will catch up, and she, too, will be a comforting presence for him. And I'm like, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. I think, honestly, he needs all of them. He needs a whole friend group. And I, we know that, like, particularly Akana and Kana are kind of, like, vying for his affections. But even just, like, romance aside, I have no doubt that they're all going to step up and be there for him. The way that he did last season when he stepped in for Akane and, um, and was being so um, just, I am not helpful is kind of like an understatement, but really coming in and, and, and seeing things through for like what had to be done in that situation. So yeah, guys, so there was that. Of course, we wrapped up the whole Goa and Abiko thing, which worked out really well. Um, we, oh yeah, so because of that though, interestingly enough, we solved one problem and kind of introduced another one, which is the script is so fire now that it presents a real challenge for other aspects of production, namely the actors. Um, so I think that's kind of interesting. Like we kind of traded one problem for another. Now they have, they have to learn a whole new script. It's a more challenging script. It's probably, it's definitely a better script, but like, but still, like this does put us at some disadvantages. So we have all that going on on top of, you know, what we're dealing with with Aqua. And of course, we know that all of that came about with Aqua because we were trying to get him to act a little bit more emotionally in the first place, which is something that he's struggling with, as one would if you had to push down your emotions in order to survive. So I wonder if maybe he will like deal with everything that's going on and deal with his past and learn to express himself and uh like a little bit more at a time and in a little bit more healthy ways 
and maybe he will be able to open up that part of himself a little bit more for acting purposes as well. I don't know, you guys, but I'll tell you what, there is one way to find out, and that is to go ahead and jump right into the next episode of Oshinoko. Let's do this. He kind of said that wasn't his thing, but yet he keeps on acting. Oh, I wonder which one will show. He's not quite a baby, but he's small. <laughs> How many girls have come around and asked for this? Oh, right, yeah. So, like, at one time, he kind of maybe thought he did. Okay. He ca okay, it's very robotic, maybe. You're kidding. Right. Yeah. Yeah, because we know he did that on the other show. It's kind of a long story. I think I think you have to have a reason. Mm, okay. She truly enjoys it. Oh yeah, he's uh, he's gonna be a tough cookie here, baby girl. Ooh, you probably asked for contacts. Well, she's already put together about oh Woo! okay all right whoa the look in her eyes was scarier am i right well she's already put together too so she probably knows that this has something to do with the eye it's not i think she's just kind of into you Oh, sure, yeah, just a work relationship. <laughs> oh, wow, she is down for anything. Okay, okay, okay. Fair, fair, like you help me and I was like, it is a very strong jaw. They're they're real. Oh, the time. I mean, they bring out the best in each other, but maybe things too. Yeah, I would say that's that's on the list, high on the list of boyfriend duties. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get some help. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, what's your interpretation and what can you do to act on that? Yeah, so. Oh, maybe we should work through our issues and see if we can bring the emotions out. Um, well, you might want to ask. Oh. Ooh. Huh. Uh, uh, I feel like the implications, although we know that's not what it is, but oh, so sweetheart. Oh, she, oh, she so oh, honey. Don't make us explain it to you. Please. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. We explained it. We explained it. Okay. Cool. 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 Uh, Buffy's barking. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, okay, I don't think we want to be hearing this about our brother. Uh, okay, first of all, I think maybe... Oh, she's like my brother's good, responsible boy. 
Oh, he's just got all kinds of girls just real invested in him, you guys. It's kind of good and bad. Oh? Oh? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, and this is happening very quickly. How are we feeling about this? <laughs> Sleep, dang it! Missed my opportunity! Ah, oh, he purposely intercepted him. Just be careful because, yeah. You know, the saying like, don't crap where you eat. I don't know if anyone knows that saying. Okay, you know what? He's trying to help you out. You don't need to, you don't need to get like that. He's trying, though. He's trying. Okay, you know what? You're you're kind of you're kind of being a tool, and uh, I've you know last time I wasn't that into this guy, but I feel like he's really putting his best foot forward now. Oh, oh! So we ended up getting that's yeah that's. Yeah, 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 I would agree. That seems actually pretty accurate. Oh, Ruby, you're so innocent, my sweet baby girl. I'm so glad she has people around to tell her, like, what's going on. Even though that wasn't really what was going on with Aqua, but. Ooh. Kind of looks like you're glaring. Oh, man. この絵本に認めなくしがみついて今の自分を磨く努力はしてるのおやおやまあまあ随分と口が悪くいらっしゃってねですそう、エンクリーレイナーだいきらいでだいきらいでしょうがないからそういうことよそうなのよねクロカは
And it's apples and oranges kind of. They have very different styles. Yeah, she, what she does, she does real well. Ah, uh, Maybe they'll both prevail, and just maybe it'll be like one of those, um, it's not Hollywood, but one of those like entertainment rival stories, you know, that you hear about in Hollywood all the time. Oh my god, is that opening day already? Holy cow! Well, but you know what? We worked with people who knew what they were doing and everything. So, like, we're yeah, yeah. You did your you did your best. You really did. Yeah, trust the process. Yeah, you're not the only one. That's very true. Mmm, but this was a special case because of all the emotional acting. Oh, something like that. Yeah, what what exactly did we uh, Oh no please don't panic on stage, I'm so scared for him. There's something about the the challenge of going up against another great actor. We got something to prove. And you know what? That is... We might not like each other, but we like the challenge. Oh, you looking a little evil when you say that, baby girl. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, all right. Okay, sweetheart. Okay. Hey. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. He he wants to be he wants to be in that space for his role. Is that what he's saying? He's he's channeling that. Oh, how, oh he's gonna throw up, babe. Oh, sweetheart, he's whoa! He's like, if I have to use raw visceral rage, I will do it. Oh my God, here we flip and go, you guys. They're they're, they're about to roll the credits. Um, dang it all, guys. That was freaking fantastic. I'm, I'm, I gotta be honest with you. I'm a little bit scared for Aqua right now because I don't know. They didn't really show us a surprise when we cut right to the, the play because I kind of thought that we would get like an episode or two of him kind of like working through everything and kind of trying to like figure out what works best for him, how he's going to channel this emotional energy without triggering a panic attack or something like that. Um, and now we just jumped right to it. We're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna backtrack. We're gonna like get all of what the work he put in along the way as we're watching him execute it, which is actually kind of freaking cool and it's gonna be really interesting. And I just like, but the uh, honest to God, like I gotta tell you, I watch a lot of action shows. I watch some scary shows, I watch some creepy shows, I watch all kinds of stuff, but the, anxiety that I am filled with anticipating that this boy is channeling this raw visceral energy that may or may not cause him to throw up and or collapse on stage. I have seldom been so nervous in my reacting career as I am. <laughs> I watch some real tense things, but good God, that's like, I, oh, maybe because it's just so... Maybe I think because it is, it isn't surrealistic. You know, there is this element of it that's a lot more grounded. You know, we're not dealing with special powers or anything like that. We're just, we're dealing with somebody trying to manage their emotions in light of a horrible trauma. And there's something about that that just kind of, I don't know, like that, it's so much more real. You know what I mean? Like, ah. Oh my god. Aqua, please be okay. But it does kind of, does it not kind of look like he's actually purposely trying to channel that? Maybe if he can't do the kind of emotional acting that they want, maybe if he can't exactly, like, get into the headspace everyone thinks that he should you know he's using that like envisioning instead and maybe he's just going to make up for it with like the raw um energy of his emotions when he channels up the memories of I and what happened to her maybe he's going to make up for it with that you know because sometimes like 
I know I've seen a lot of like actors that like, okay, is this person like when you look at the technical skill and everything like that, but do how do they make you feel? You know what I mean? Like sometimes you can you can have one without the other. It's hard for me to describe it in acting because I don't know as much about acting, but I'll give you an example from like music, you know? Um, you can be technically perfect at playing a certain instrument or or vocals or something like that. Um, but somebody else with really not as much raw talent or skill, if they can hit the right, pun intended, chord within you, and they can just make it work even with like, okay, maybe they're not the greatest singer, maybe they're not, maybe they know three chords, maybe that, but if they can make that work, it's still seen as like a really legendary thing. Um, and I think maybe that's what the director was getting at a little bit with like what you lack in this, you make up for in this, which what's interesting is that we also have Akane and Kana who are like so evenly matched in, if you want to talk about like technical skill and the way they execute it and everything like that, but their motivations are a little bit different, you know, like I feel like Akane is doing it for fun as she said. And is still very motivated and has still had a lot of her own to overcome. You know, it's not like she's just out there, tra-la-la. But Kana has, she's so hungry for it, you know. Like, she's not, she's not being praised. She's not getting acclaimed. She's like, she's fighting against the current over here. And I think there's something about that feeling that makes you that desperation that kind of like brings out a little bit more of that raw, um like get it done kind of like energy like I've got like I've got to do this I've got to see this through I don't have a choice you know what I mean um so yeah so that should be interesting just speaking of like people's um motivations and how they're executing and uh you know where they're at in their skills and everything like that oh the oh Kana Kana fights real dirty let me tell you she could be I mean, I feel like Akane is mostly, like, pretty sweet, although she's definitely no pushover. Like, she definitely knows what she's doing. Um, she's not naive, let's put it that way. But I feel like her 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 default is a little bit more sweet and shy, and Kana can just... Oh, she... The claws can come the heck out, let me tell you right now. Like she, They really are, like, fire and ice. Like, they're, they're, they have such similar... Um, like, I don't know how to put it, because they're not similar attitudes at all, but they have, there's so many similarities, but, like, they literally could not be further away as opposites in some ways, which, honestly, I think it's, I think this is going to make for a great performance. I think between all these people, like, pushing themselves, rivaling, just do it, I mean, this is going to be one heck of a play. It's going to be one heck of a play. And honestly, I felt bad for Melt in this. Did anyone else feel a little bit? Because I know, like, last time he was definitely, like, the one who, like, did not give a hoot. And he was just there because he was pretty and blah, blah, blah. And it was, like, you know, it's hard to respect that. But, like, in this one, he's, like, don't go, like, hitting on girls. And, like, basically don't make things, like, complicated for yourself at work by, like, um, doing things you shouldn't with... <laughs> With, with people involved in this production or who know people involved with this production. And, um, which is already kind of like a more mature stance, I would say, both professionally and just personally. Um, and I thought, I, I thought that other guy was coming off like kind of a, I don't know, I don't think I was the only one who thought that, um, but I felt bad for Melton this because he really is trying, you know what I mean? Like, I will give so much more credit to somebody who's legit trying out here. Like, he's staying late for rehearsals. He's like, I will give so much more credit to him than I will to somebody who's <clears throat> waving around their past achievements, you know, and, and being a jerk about it. So, um, interest, interesting setups, you guys. We got, we just got a little bit of drama going around everywhere everywhere oh my god not to mention the scene with Akane being like I would help you kill that person I'm like holy jeez my girl my girl is sweet but my girl oh she now whether or not that was leaning a little bit more into like the dream girl persona or that was something she really meant or it was a little bit of both still pretty freaking scary I gotta say like 
I don't think Hannah wants to push the wrong buttons on this girl. Like, I think they, I think they both can, I think they're both just like, I would not mess with either of them. I'll be honest with you. And then there's Ruby, who just didn't understand why would my brother be going home with the girl and staying out late. And so oh, she's such a sweetie pie. But I love that, like, she doesn't believe that either. Like, she doesn't believe that he would, like, take advantage of somebody or be, like, um, be uh, irresponsible or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, you could tell she has a lot of, like, faith in him, too. Not that it's, like, horrible to, I mean, you know, I mean, there's types technically girlfriend boyfriend but I think she's aware too isn't she that they're just like work girlfriend boyfriend too but like most people aren't aware of that um but she just she's so sweet and innocent she's oh baby please don't, don't give your do not give your number out to anybody don't don't do it don't do it don't be giving your number out to, to no one oh my god oh but yeah nobody better mess with Ruby because she was <laughs> Og was like the ultimate like guard dog protection privilege. Like he seriously is. I would not mess with him either. All right, guys. I've I said a lot. I don't know. You know how I get with the show. So good. I can't believe we're already into the play. I cannot believe it. I'm so excited. Cannot wait. Um, I'm sure I forgot something. So you know, we'll just we'll get into it in the comments. I don't know. Um, but all right. Uh. I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. Please, for the love of God, I don't know what's going to happen at this play, but it's going to be big. One way or another, it's going to be big. I'm hoping it's good big and not bad big, but either way, I'm going to need your help. So please be sure to join, to join me next time, and we will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.